When a street artist decides to use a building or an urban canvas, they have to take lots of things into consideration. It's really important that they consider the shape of the image that they're going to put on and the area where they're going to put it. So what you need to do is decide which image you're going to use and start to sketch lightly with pencil the position you want it to be on, on your photocopied building. Plot out the main shapes and then start to look at the positioning of the main features or the internal details. Plot those out next in pencil so that they're there, secure and ready for when you go over them in pen. Review and alter imagery as you go along. Don't worry about changing things just to make sure that you get the accuracy there and constantly keep looking at that original source material, that image that you are drawing from. When you're happy with the main shape, then you can start to go over the details of the outline in biro. For the back of the hedgehog here, I've used sort of like a broken line because obviously the spines are going to cut across that later. So you may think about the type of mark you use in certain areas, but at the moment you're trying to define those shapes and edges ready to build up with the tone and texture that you apply through mark making. Start to add the darkest tones, maybe bringing out details of eyes or really dark areas. And then you can start to think about where you would add different directional marks or mark making to try and add to the final quality of the drawing. What surface texture are you trying to create? Is it feathers? Is it fur? Is it scales? The way we apply our pen and our marks can give the suggestion of these different surfaces. And so you need to really think about the direction, the length and the type of marks you're going to use in each area. Again, this is where the observation and looking at your original image is really, really important. Here you can see, speeded up, how I've changed the directions of the spines as they progress across the hedgehog, how some of the marks are dots, some of the marks are dashes, and the density changes depending on where I'm working. Finally, I'm using a white gel pen to just bring those highlights out on the spines. I've put some details onto the face and smudged it in a little bit more to give it more of a base colour. You might work into that with a, a pencil crayon it just depends on what materials you've got. Finally, it's about redefining with that black pen, going back in and making the darker areas darker and the lighter areas lighter. And if you want, you can then work some brown pencil crayon into the building at the back to create that sepia aged effect and make the drawing stand out even further. Here you can see the final image.